Today we're gonna be comparing the newly released M1911 from DLC5 Zombies Chronicles to the M1911 from Black Ops 2 Zombies and that to the M1911 from the original Black Ops Zombies. It's going to be a good one. Yes, if you did not know, we got the M1911 back in Black Ops 3 Zombies and I gotta say this, it is very satisfying to kill zombies and it has been reworked and made it so it's compatible with Black Ops 3 Zombies and it is a little different from the M1911 that we got a while back on Black Ops 3 multiplayer and the sound is also something that has been reworked to make it so it doesn't sound like a BB gun because it did sound like a BB gun when it was first uh, introduced in Black Ops 3 multiplayer but I think it still does to some extent but it's better now for sure but all in all I'm super happy that it's there along with the AK-74U now we're gonna be comparing this not just the looks but how it sounds what M1911 sounds better in what game and the pack punch version the mustang and sally we're gonna be comparing that too and after you finish watching let me know what version do you like better do you like the m1911 from black ops 3 or from black ops 2 or from black ops and same thing for the pat version do you like the mustang and sally do you think they are better in black ops 3 zombies or in bo2 or in black ops zombies now first things first uh the m1911 on the original black ops zombies the model of this looks metallic it is very shiny shiny and slim the kick on this thing when you shoot is godly not crazy high but looks really good and natural although I never shot this thing in real life but still my mind says it looks natural and I can honestly say Treyarch did bless the M1911 in Black Ops 1 zombies in those aspects if I'm correct drop a quick little one in the comments right now when you pack punch this of course you will get the dual wheel called the Mustang and Sally oh the nostalgia I gotta I gotta be real now what I found is the biggest difference in the Black Ops version is of course what I mentioned earlier the gun is slim looks shiny AF and everything but when you shoot the pack-a-punch version you get a lot of smoke making so it's hard to see the other side which is really something I like and I think it's cool the sound is gonna be the last thing let's play it now the unpap version and then I'll play the pat version and we'll move on to the black ops 2 and at the end I will combine everything and play everything all together giving you the best comparison as humanly possible so hear it out and I'll be back Alright, moving on to the Black Ops 2 Zombies. The M1911 looks thick, if you get what I'm saying. The kick is way higher, the gun is dark AF, but looks like it will do serious damage. But of course, the statistics of this is the same when you compare with Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 3. In this situation, I feel that meme where it says like, you versus the guy she tell you not to worry about, if you get what I'm saying. Maybe uh, the pat version will be a little different, but I don't think so. When you pat this, you will get a nice looking dark camo, which is awesome but when you shoot this thing it will feel a little heavy compared to Black Ops 1 it will feel like it is doing a lot more damage compared to the Black Ops 1 version and the radius is a lot smaller where if you shoot too close you can hurt yourself so gotta be safe now I will play the sound of the unpat version and then the pat version right now so stay tuned and I will be right back
So as you heard, it sounds heavy, and the pat version has that pack punch pew sound, which is really cool, but it doesn't create that same looking smoke. Now, moving on to the Black Ops 3 version. First of all, I will play a little clip for Mr. Ruffle Waffle's video, because he has the M1911 sound effect when it was first released on Black Ops 3, and then I will play how it sounds in Zombies. You will hear a difference, and then I will play Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2 sounds, and comparing the whole sound aspect, and then then we're gonna talk a little bit more of other things. So stay tuned once again, and I will be right back. Break down. Shot out. DIC. Now you would probably would have make up your mind about what sounds better. To me, the Unpowered M1911 sounds better over everything, and I prefer the sound of Black Ops 3 Mustang and Salad because it sounds a little more fat, if you get what I'm saying, and it has a lot more of that Pack Punch Pew sound, if you get what I'm saying, once again. But in terms of other things, the gun has a kick when you hit fire, which is cool, but when you aim down sight, it, it still looks like a BB gun, and the green points is something that makes it look like more of a modern M1911 gun, if you get what I'm saying, which is not something I personally prefer, but when you pop this, I like the pullback quite a lot, and I prefer the Pack Punch version in Black Ops 3 and the non-Pack Punch version in Black Ops 1, but hey, let me know how do you feel in the comments below, and check out some other videos on the screen right now by clicking the end screen if you have missed any of those videos, subscribe if you happen to be new, and hit that like if you did enjoy this video, and I'll see you very soon freaking soon.